So this is what we're going to be doing today. Organizing layers, hiding layers, removing artwork, rearranging layers, blending, adding text and effects, and duplicate. So let's go ahead and get started. There's a bunch of things to do. Uh, first of all, we need to open this door file. Uh, you can find the door file on uh, the website. And I found all these files on the Adobe website. So you can go to the door lesson, go to file 2, and click on that. You'll see the door. You can control click or right click and save it to your desktop. And then you can open that file in Photoshop. So there we have our door. And then, uh, similar to a lesson we did before, you select everything. Like, uh, first of all, hit uh, the M key, that's marquee, right here. And then hit Command A, and that selects everything, or you can draw a box around it. And now we need to subtract the white parts, because we don't want the white parts. So make sure you have the magic wand tool. And then hold down the Alt button, and then your magic wand will turn to a uh, minus sign. And make sure your tolerance level is kind of low so that it will pick it up. And now it's selected only the door. Now we're going to move the door. What's the shortcut key to move? V. Yes, V as in Victor, or move, M-O-V-E. Now we can move it. So we're going to click and drag it into our... Uh, Photoshop document and we're gonna place it right about here okay so we got that done uh, next we're done with that we're done with that okay we're gonna rename the layer we're gonna call it door Okay, so we're going to call it door, and then we have these other, and we're going to move it to the second layer. All right, let's do it. So make sure it's instead of layer one, just double click on the words. Let's call it door. Now, notice we have these two layers, but you don't see them the statue and the door. Now, they are on the top layer, so it's not like it's hidden behind this background. But notice this is an eyeball. That means it's visible. And notice these are not visible. So let's go ahead and make those visible. When we do, it shows up. Now it's gone, and now it appears. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now click on the... Let's see. Click on the doorway, and we're going to move our doorway so that it goes right about there. So you, make sure you can see a little bit on the left side of the garden behind it, and then also right there. And then go ahead and click your door, and move your door so it fits a, almost inside. Now we want to make this door on the outside. Notice it's on top of the uh, doorway. So we're going to go ahead and move it like they are doing there. And we're going to place it right here, the door. So let's do that. So we're going to move the door right about here. We're going to click, take the door and just click and move this up in front of the doorway. So it should look like this. Now, it says to change the opacity of the door to 50%. Now, what is opacity? Yeah, so opacity is the clearness of how visible it is. So if something is 100% opacity, that means it's 100% visible. Now the directions say to take this opacity down to 50%, so it's going to be less visible. Um, you can just type in 50 if you want. And now notice the door is like, it's a little bit harder to see. You can actually see through it. Okay. Uh, so now let's change it back to 90%. Or not back to 90, but let's change it to 90%. So change it to 90 or type in 90%. And we're going to move it to the hinge right here. 
just like they have it here. We're going to move it. So just move the layer. And next, um, basically now that we have our door in position, it's always going to stay with the doorway. So if you move the door, we want the doorway to move with it. So it's kind of like linked together. So to link the layers, you basically select the door, hold down the command key, and select the doorway as well. Now both layers are selected. Then you're going to right click or control click, and we're going to choose link layers. Now when we link the layers, you'll see that little link button, right? Icon. And now when we move the door, both of them move. Or when we select it, they both move too. So that's really good to know. Um, if you want to lock it, you can lock your uh, doorway. So now if we try to move it, you cannot lock it or you cannot move it because it's locked. So that's sometimes helpful if you have a background that you keep wanting to, like, you want it to be locked so you can't change it. Just go ahead and lock it. Now, go ahead and take your background and move it to the top layer. And notice, does it let you? No. no. And notice there's a lock button. And notice that we can't unlock it. Now, when you open up a new picture in Photoshop, generally it comes as a default locked. Now, how do we get rid of that lock button if we don't want it locked? Yeah, so what we're going to do is duplicate this layer and then throw away this lock layer because it's no good. So, uh, if you control click on the layer, you can hit duplicate layer. And then I can just put background copy and hit OK. And then I can take my background control click and hit delete layer. Are you sure? Yes. So now I just have my background. Now I can take my background and move it all the way to the front, top layer. And notice now you only see the garden. Now if I change my opacity, you'll be able to see through it. So that gives you an idea of how those layers work. But the directions want us to keep the background layer at the background. So let's drag it back to the bottom layer. And let's keep going with our uh, lesson. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to resize the door so it fits about half of the document. So go ahead, click on door, and command click, click on doorway as well. Hit command T, and now you'll be able to transform it and then make it bigger. Make sure you hold on the shift key so it doesn't change perspective. Okay, so hold on the shift key. Fill it about halfway and then hit enter and we're done with that. Okay, next we're going to add a gradient. Okay, now what is a gradient? A gradient is basically two at least two colors. You have one color, let's say black, and then another color, let's say red. So a gradient goes from black to red and you'll see the change of color between the two. So we're going to create a new layer and then it's going to be called gradient. And we're going to be adding a purple to transparent gradient. So let's go ahead and do that. We add a new layer. Add a new layer. You can just click on the new layer button down here. Or the shortcut key. Up here you can also hit layer, new layer, or command, shift N. We call this gradient. And the gradient should be right, uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, put the gradient right in front of the background, but behind the other like statue door and doorway. So right there. Okay. Okay, so for our gradient, uh, we have this gradient button right here, it's called gradient, or you can hit the G key on the keyboard to get to your gradient, 